Hi everyone. So I popped a post on Facebook, I think it was last week, asking whether you had any burning questions about starting Pilates. And um, thank you to everyone who popped a comment. Um, I'm going to answer a few of those now um, in this video, as I promised. So first question that I got asked, and I get asked this quite a lot, is if I'm going to start Pilates, what is the best routine to start with? Um, what, how do I go about starting? And it's a great question because there are so many different exercises out there, particularly if you look online for a Pilates class, it's a bit of a minefield about where to start. Um, so what I recommend is that when you are looking for exercises, you want to be doing things that are teaching you the basic positioning, teaching you how to engage your centre, um, teaching you that awareness of your breathing and the awareness of the movements as well because all of those exercises are starting to recruit and get the deeper stabilizing muscles working and that's what we want before we go on to the next level which is where we get the bigger um, more like power muscles if you like working so the bigger tummy muscles now if you haven't got those deeper stabilizing muscles working before the other muscles start working um, then it can be a little bit more challenging and you're not going to get the, the best results if you like. The other thing is if you go straight in for some of the harder exercises like we all like to do because we want to get there quicker, um, what tends to happen is if the tummy muscles aren't strong enough, something's got to do it and our back muscles tend to kick in um, and take over and that's when you can sort of strain your back or sometimes if you're doing the exercises you can feel it on your back which you shouldn't do with the Pilates exercises. So it really is about um, starting with those lower level exercises and then building up and you will get there much quicker if you do it that way. Now I will pop a link in, um, in the comments under this video to, um, I've got a couple of classes, one that um, goes through the basic positioning on your back and also how to engage your um, tummy muscles. And the other one is, um, it's labelled as a low back pain class, but it's really, really good for beginners because we go through some of the um, introductory exercises and it's getting that awareness of the movement so if that's something that you were interested in and you wanted to access then I'll pop a link in the comments about how you can get hold of that as well um, so another question that was asked was if you have got arthritis is Pilates suitable and the answer is yes but sometimes some of the exercises you might need to modify a little bit. But I always think that's the great thing about Pilates. There's different levels and there's different ways you can modify things. Um, so you can make it sort of suitable to or tailored to your own needs. Um, research shows that keeping the joints moving, keeping the muscles nice and strong that support the joints is really, really important. That's the best way to manage arthritis. Um, in fact, I've got a lady in my clinic who has probably been coming now for maybe about five years um, and she has um, some arthritis in one of her knees and was told that if the pain got too bad um, that she would need a knee replacement. But she's been doing Pilates every single week and the pain now, she says she virtually doesn't get any and it's keeping moving and she's, she's managing really well. So obviously that's not the case for everybody, but definitely keeping moving and keeping it strong can have great results. Um, if you have got any particular joint problems, um, again, it's about modifying the exercises. And certainly in my classes, I make sure that there are little modifications or ways that you can tweak things um, to make it a little bit um, easier or not put too much pressure on the joints if, you, if that's what you need. Um, another question, I've got them written down in front of me. Um, oh, another question was um, about if you have pain um, or um, sort of maybe pain conditions, joint conditions, fibromyalgia, things like that, whether Pilates is suitable. And exactly the same, um, yes, it's suitable, but it's all about working at a level that's right for you. Now, if you're getting back into exercise and you've been advised to do Pilates and you want to start moving again and um, just building up gradually. It's all about thinking about what level you're at now and what you can manage. Um, we're all the same and we all like to sort of just go for it. So if we decide we're gonna do something, we go all in, all guns blazing. Um, but very often what happens is we struggle a little bit. So 
I always advise people to think about what they can manage now. And if that is a five minute class, then that's fine. And then maybe just building that up gradually over time. So you don't want to overdo it because if you overdo it, what tends to happen is we get a bit uncomfortable, then we have to rest for a couple of days. And while we're resting, we stiffen up a little bit, muscles get a bit weaker, then we try again. And it sort of becomes this vicious cycle where you're exercising and then having to rest and exercising and having to rest and it just becomes a real struggle. So if you can find a level that's right for you to start off with and then make little steps to building it up, that's gonna get you where you wanna get much quicker um, and it's gonna be much easier to manage as well. Um, there are another couple of other questions that were on there. One was about engaging your um, pelvic floor. Um, it's probably easier to do that in a sort of video where I'm talking through it. Um, and the video that I'll pop the link to in the comments, we do go through how to sort of engage your tummy muscles and they work with your pelvic floor muscles. So again, if that's something that you are um, interested in, then you can download that video and get access to that as well. So I'm here to answer any more questions that you've got. So if you want to pop any questions under this video, then I will try and um, do another video to answer the, the questions. Um, and other than that, thank you very much and I'll see you soon.